Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called 98XX. It looks like an ordinary old Windows 98 game, but underneath that surface is something more sinister. We are about to figure out what that is right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. So let's log in. And what if we just power off? It doesn't matter if we power off. It doesn't care. There's jumpingjulian.exe, that surfer, pixel paint, Puzzle patterns. Let me check out Puzzle Paint real quick. I use Windows Paint from time to time. Like when I need to copy and paste something real quick, I still use Windows Paint. Does anybody else use Windows Paint or are we all Photoshop whores? Because when I make thumbnails, I do use Photoshop. Back when I started doing YouTube, I sound old already. Back in my day when I started doing YouTube, I actually didn't have Photoshop. I was about to create my thumbnails in Paint, but you have no videos installed. What? What about backroom casting couch? Um, let me see. Let's go to Surfer. Let's see my recently visited. Razzy.com, Mirez.com, or WorldArticles.com. Let me finish what I was saying. So I used to use paint to make my thumbnails when I first started doing YouTube. And obviously Photoshop was the top dog back then, like eight, seven years ago. So I was like, I need to get Photoshop, but I'm broke as a joke. I had no money to my name. And luckily for me, the very first version of Photoshop was free. I don't know if it's still free right now. But anybody who doesn't have any money and wants to create some pretty good thumbnails with using a good program, I think that the first Photoshop should be free. Let me see if it's still free for everybody. I don't actually know everybody. You're just gonna have to figure it out. The funniest thing is, is that that time is exactly the time that I'm recording right now. So I'm recording on June 26, 2023 at 6.15 p.m. And the last thing that I can do is jumping Julian. Okay, Hello let's play. There. My name is Julian, and I am very happy you are playing with me. Yo. I love when people play with me. Bro, chill. Use the arrow keys and space bar to help me make my way up to the top. Have fun. Okay. So we just use this Baldi's Basics looking dude. And that's all we gotta do. We just gotta make our way to the top. Okay, so you are all gonna see that I'm a pretty average platforming guy. This looks a bit tougher. I should make it through. I wasn't really like a Super Mario guy as a kid. I was more like a Pokemon guy or a Zelda guy. So I'm not really good at shit like this. But red flag. Yeah, I did it. Now on to the next level. Now this looks challenging. That one's alright. Speaking of red flags, what's everybody's red flag? Like I really wanna know. I really wanna know what everybody's red flag is. Mine is if you stink. Like, and I don't mean like just stinking as body odor. I mean like if you don't um take a shower. System error of fatal exception. A fatal exception has occurred at 486520. This was called from 5765422. It may be possible to continue normally. Press any attempt to continue. But yeah, my red flag is good hygiene, I guess. Or lack of good hygiene. That's what I meant. I don't mean just like stinking. I mean like stanking. Like if you're like really stinky and nasty, I can't stand that. That's an immediate red flag to me. And I don't know anybody who likes stinky people. But, I don't know, this looks like broccoli. That doesn't even look like a normal tree. But let's go to Jumping Julian again. Wait, we can't. Oh, there he is. It seems that a problem has occurred. But do not worry as I have fixed the game and made it even better. Where are you going? Are you gonna jump into I the game? I do have something to ask. Sure. Do you ever wonder if there's an afterlife? Yes. It's something I really been thinking about. Well, anyway, let's play the game. This dude's deep in thought. He's deep in his feels. I just made a video that asked about the afterlife and I said that as I got older, I started thinking about the afterlife more and more because when you start losing people that are in your life, what the fuck? Hold on, what is that? Bro, I just got smacked with some random ass spiky ball. Dude said he made it better. Now I got all these balls in my face. Okay, but anyway, back to our red flags. So one is stinking. Like if you stink, bro, what is this? Yeah, if you stink, that is a major red flag to me. Also, if... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta do this. Can I double jump? I don't understand, like, the jumping mechanics. It's kind of weird. Get up there. Oh, what the... Man, come on, bro! Bold bitch! With, like, one hair to the top of his head. All right, there we go. Got him! Yeah, I did it. I did it. Give me some credit. Bro's the dude in the group project that does nothing but expects everything. We all have one of those. Hi, I'm one of those. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I did it. Now on to the next level. The end is near, and yet so far. Dude was thinking about an afterlife. Okay. So, wow. Okay. One. 
I'm out here trying to think of red flags, but the biggest red flag is that this dude is a freaking bitch and can't even jump on these damn platforms and he's asking me to do it! And he keeps taking balls to the face on his bald ass head and he keeps looking at me with those eyes. I wish I could just slap this guy silly, man. He said he made it better, but the only thing he made better is the chance of me beating this shit! Let's go! Okay, ah! I'm done playing games, everybody. The first nine attempts were for the hee hees and the ha ha's, but I'm not laughing no more. I'm not laughing anymore. I have taken one last ball to the face. I'm over it. I'm. If I don't beat this right here, right now, I'm returning this game. I don't care. It was three bucks. I'll return the shit out of this and buy some tacos from Jack in the Box. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Timmy up. Timmy up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on, Jay. Fuck. Bro, it's so slippery and slidey. Done talking. I'm done with the talking. I'm done with the talking! Again? What can we buy with $3 besides Jack in the Box tacos? We can buy more Jack in the Box tacos. Welcome, Rob23. Remember, my computer name used to be Robert. But then I was like, let me just put Rob23. Because I want to be cool. I want to be one of the coolies. Error. Okay. Never mind. Error, error. Can't even open paint. Not even puzzle patterns. Oh, I can't do shit. All right. So what do you want me to do? Uh, oh! Fuck. <laughs> All right. It's a, oh. Julian, who are do these people? Do you ever wonder why death happens? Death comes unexpectedly. One moment you're fine, and then it all ends. So elusive, you must die, you must die. You must die. You must die. Great. Oh my! Wow. <laughs> Your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info, and then we'll restart. <laughs> Alright. Timed perfectly, too. As I was done reading it, so polite. Okay, so let me see. Hello there. My name is Julian, and I am very happy you are playing with me. I love when people play with me. Use the arrow I feel like that has another meaning. I'm gonna exit that. I feel like jumping Julian did what it needed to do. Let me see Surfer. I'm gonna click on Razzie.com. And it says, in 1991, Bob Carter found Razzie Inc. with a vision to revolutionize the computer chip industry. Today, his company is one of the most successful in the tech industry with its cutting edge chips used in a wide range of applications from consumer electronics to aerospace. This dude just looks like a rat bastard. The human brain can function just like the computer chip. One of Razzie Inc.'s biggest achievements has been its ability to shrink chip sizes without sacrificing performance. This has allowed companies to create smaller, more portable devices without compromising on computing power. Razzie Inc. has also been at the forefront of developing chips that consume less power, reducing energy usage and carbon footprint for companies and consumers. All 2KE? Why is 2 in bold like that? I feel like that's a code. Maybe I should write that down. I mean, I'm not gonna write down the number two. I'll just remember two. Another factor in Razzie Inc.'s success has been their ability to stay ahead of the competition with cutting edge research and development. The company invests heavily in R&D. You know what I think? I think that these websites have a code. So let's see. One is also a thing. Let me see, where's two? So when I click that, they make a noise. I clicked on one and two, and then it made like a t -t -t sound. Let me go back to Surfer, and let's see what we got over here. There's a four. It's not letting me click on the four. New game takes the world by storm. In recent months, a new game has taken the internet by storm, captivating the attention of kids and adults alike. This game sucks ass! What a shitty childhood these two kids had, because Jumping Julian is something I wouldn't even wipe my ass with. Jumping Julian, created by Dreamore Studios and developed by John Monkford, Oh. is a platformer game that gained immense popularity in a short period of time. One of the game's biggest draws is its addictive gameplay on what planet? Jumping Julian is easy to pick up but difficult to master, making players want to keep trying until they beat a level. However, as with any popular game, parents are skeptical about the impact it may have on their children. Many worry that their kids are becoming addicted to the game and spending too much time playing it. Overall, Jumping Julian is a fun and exciting game that has taken the internet by storm. 
While parents may be skeptical of its impact on their children, it's important to recognize the potential benefits of gaming and to set appropriate boundaries. With its addictive gameplay and positive messaging, Jumping Julian is sure to remain a fan favorite for years to come. Who wrote that? Julian himself? Like, are you freaking kidding me? I have no videos installed. Wow. Okay. Match all of the shape patterns. Ooh, I actually like stuff like this. Okay. Um, I don't understand. Match all of the shape patterns. What do you mean? When I click on this, it's gonna make a noise. Oh wait, it didn't make a noise. Jackass. Huh. It's no longer making a noise. Por qué? Let me go back. Let's go here. And then let's click on this. No. Okay. Never mind. I don't know what to do. Oh shit, there's somebody right there! Who the fuck is that guy? Somebody just randomly standing right there. That is creepy. Oh, that gives me the chills, dude. Okay. Can I nope, I have no more videos in <gasps> He's gone! Holy shit, that's creepy! Oh, that is freaking scary! There was somebody standing behind the tree. And they're gone. Let me power off. Oh, I left the game. I'm stupid. <laughs> I know that there's something with these things. There you go. One, two. Let's go back. Let's keep clicking. Let's keep clicking. Four. Nope. You know what? I think I get it. I think that there's another number here. Because I think it goes in order. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's the three. Okay, three. Let's keep going. We got this, everybody. I think I am onto something. Yup, four, five, six. We're almost there. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Got it. The mysterious disappearance of Jason Storm from Razzie Inc. October 22nd, 1998. In early October of 1998, Jason Storm, an employee of Razzie Inc., disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Storm, a promising young engineer, was last seen headed to the company's warehouse. What? Where he was scheduled to work on a new project. When he failed to return, his colleagues raised the alarm and a search was launched. However, despite an intensive investigation, no trace of Storm has ever been found. The disappearance of Jason Storm remains a mystery to this day and has left his family, friends, and colleagues with many unanswered questions. Rumors and speculations have swirled around the incident, with some suggesting foul play and others pointing to a potential accident or technical malfunction. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, some have even speculated that Razzie Inc. may have played a role- Is his face moving? I feel like his face kind of moved from side to side. It may have played a role in Storm's disappearance. However, the company has strongly denied any involvement and has cooperated fully with the authorities in their investigation. The case has remained open with authorities continuing to search for any clues that may help shed light on what happened to Jason Storm. Meanwhile, his loved ones continue to hold out hope that he may one day be found alive and well. The disappearance of Jason Storm has had a profound impact on those who knew him and has served as a reminder of the dangers that can lurk in even the most seemingly secure and mundane of workplaces. It has also raised important questions that workplace safety and the responsibilities of employers to ensure the well-being of their employees. <gasps> Pussy. God, man, I was into it. The Rise and Fall of Jumping Julian, a cautionary tale of game development. In the world of video games, success can be fleeting. One day you're the talk of the town, the next you're yesterday's news. This was the case of Jumping Julian, the once popular game created by John Monkford that quickly fell out of favor due to harsh feedback. Jumping Julian was initially greeted with excitement and anticipation. The game promised a unique platforming experience with vibrant visuals and engaging gameplay. However, as players began to spend more time with the game, they started to notice some serious design flaws. One of the biggest complaints was the game's annoying gameplay facts, which featured frustrating controls and repetitive level design. Thank you to whoever wrote that. Players found themselves getting stuck on obstacles and dying frequently, leading to a sense of frustration and boredom. 
The poor design choices were not lost on players, and reviews for the game were overwhelmingly negative. One person in particular, Jason Storm, left an extremely harsh review that left John Monkford heartbroken and depressed. The negative feedback proved to be too much for Monkford, who struggled to cope with the criticism. After a few months, he decided to leave the game development business. In a shocking turn of events, several employees at Razzie Inc. have died while playing the game's Jumping Julian. The game, created by former employee John Monkford, has been linked to the deaths of multiple staff members, leaving the company reeling and the gaming community in shock. The first reported death occurred in late October of 1998, when a Razzie Inc. employee was found dead in his office, surrounded by screens showing Jumping Julian. At a time, the incident was considered an isolated case and was attributed to personal issues rather than the game itself. However, over the next few weeks, several more employees took their own lives while playing the game. Concerned staff members raised the alarm, and the company sent out a memo advising employees to avoid playing the game altogether. As the death toll continued to rise, Razzie Inc. management began to investigate the matter more closely. They discovered that John Monkford, the game's creator, had included subliminal messages in the game that appeared to have triggered the behavior in some players. In response, the company contacted the police and launched a search for Monkford. However, shockwaves through the gaming industry, raising important questions about the responsibilities of game developers and the potential risks associated with immersive gameplay. It also highlighted the need for companies to take a closer look at the content of the games they produce and to ensure that they are not promoting harmful behavior or causing undue harm to players. The tragedy has also underscored the importance of mental health in the workplace and the need for companies to provide support and resources for employees who may be struggling with personal issues. In the wake of the deaths, Razzie Inc. has issued a public apology and has committed to taking a more proactive role in ensuring the safety and well-being of its employees. The company has pledged to work with mental health experts to develop better policies and procedures for identifying and addressing mental health issues in the workplace. Downloading video? Success! Wait, I can check the video? Hold on. Oh, we have a video. What the fuck? Do you want me to take a picture of that? Okay, so I scanned the QR code and this popped up. Does anybody know what that means? I'm sorry to disappoint you all. I'm pretty sure this is Morse code, but I don't know dingle dick about Morse code. So this could be insulting my mom right now, but I have no clue what it's saying. Like, what are you trying to say, huh? Oh, yeah? And what? Okay. And my dad too? What about my sister? Wow. This bitch. This dude talking shit. Okay. I got something for you when I see you. So this is the one where I don't understand. Like, what am I supposed to do right here? Match all of the shape patterns. But like, how do I know what I'm matching? You know what I mean? Like, how do I even know what I'm doing? What am I doing just to suffer type shit? Let's do that diamond shit. Yeah, that diamond shit for the fireman. All right, everybody. That is going to do it for 98XX. If there's any more secrets, I have no idea what else to do. If you played this before and want to give me a little advice in the comments, let me know. If you all enjoyed this and want me to play more games like this, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.